All right, what is going on guys? It's Nick Plans, and I'm back with another video and I'm actually recording this video directly after I recorded my last tier list Which was ranking all of the Call of Duty Zombies maps uh, by Treyarch I'm recording this immediately after just so I don't have to worry about doing it later in the week I'm just gonna schedule this for whatever day this goes up maybe like Thursday or Friday I'm not entirely sure whatever day this goes up. It's up <laughs> But um, yeah, so in this one we're ranking all of the MCU movies and the TV shows that they've released so far so this this list is actually it took me a little bit to find this one that had uh, Black Widow and all the TV shows that have come out so far. So obviously we got S A B C and D tier, and we got 23 movies or something like that plus three shows, 24 movies plus three shows, something like that. So let's just jump right into it. And the first one up here is Guardians of the Galaxy. Now I'm gonna give this movie a B. I don't think it's crazy. I don't think it's like like I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't hate a single MCU movie except for the first two Thor movies, but we'll get to that point. Um. <laughs> So, I don't really hate an MCU movie, it's just how much I enjoy it over others, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, so, Guardians of the Galaxy, I think it's a good movie. I don't think it's anything crazy, to be honest with you. Um, I do like, I think it's, is it the Guardians 2? Is it, is it the Guardians Volume 2 post credit scene where you get Thanos saying, I'll do it myself? That's a great one. I don't know if it's this one or Volume 2. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to say, I think it's a, a B-tier movie. I don't think it's insane. I don't think it's terrible. Uh, you could argue A. You could definitely argue A. But I'm going to keep it a B. Next up, we got Age of Ultron. Personally, my second favorite Avengers movie. I, I thoroughly love Age of Ultron. Uh, I don't think it gets enough credit. I think it gets shit on a lot. Or not really shit on. I don't think it, I don't think it gets the praise it deserves. Uh, next up, we got Ant-Man. I fucking love Ant-Man. I think uh, Paul Rudd is just one of the funniest people you will ever, ever watch in any movie. Like, he's just hysterical. That's the way to put it. Um, I, I really like Paul Walker's character. I really like Ant-Man. Like, Luis is Luis, right? Yeah, Luis, he's hysterical, too. Um, again, I think the villain's pretty cool. Yellow Jacket. We saw his... Uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything for Loki. Uh, this is before the fin- I'm recording this before the finale, so episode 5, we saw the yellow jacket head in the void world or whatever, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you do, there you go. I'm gonna give Ant-Man A tier, I think. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm gonna move it down to B. I'm gonna move it down to B. Maybe Guardians goes up. No. B tier, okay, so those are both B tier. Civil War- Oh, this is a hard one. It's either A or S. I'm gonna go A. I don't think it's- I'd rather watch Age of Ultron than Civil War. That's just me. But, yeah, I don't know. Civil War is a very, very good movie. Um, there's not really anything bad you could say about it. I, like, it's all... It's really just pick a side and call it a day, really. Um, I, yeah, so I think A-T is a good enough like spot for it. You, obviously, you got, you got Zemo making his first appearance in the MCU, which I thought was really good, played by... Uh, Daniel Bruhl, I think his name is, or something like that. I, it's something like that. I apologize if I butchered the name. Next up, we got Doctor Strange. I love Doctor Strange. I, th I think he's a dope-ass character. I really can't wait for the Doctor uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I love it. Um, I really like Wong. Great comedic relief. Wong is a really good character as well. Obviously, we know he's going to be in the new Shang-Chi movie. We saw him getting his ass kicked by Abomination. Um, let me think here. What else do I really like? Tilda Swinton creeps me out, but I think she plays... <laughs> in this movie, she creeps me out, but I think she plays the Ancient One very well. Um, I think I think, I think think Benedict Cumberbatch plays, like, pre-Sorcerer Supreme, like, Stephen Strange really well. Like, how, like, just angry and pissed after the accident. Like, I feel like he played that very well. Um, next up, we got Guardians Volume 2. I think Guardians Volume 2 is better than Volume 1. I thoroughly enjoy it more. I think there's a lot more funny moments in it. I'm, so I'm going to give it A tier. Um, yeah, I mean, again, I, I like it more than the first one, so I don't really know what else to say. You got, obviously, you have Yondu's death in this one. Um, there's a lot of really funny moments. I don't know, I, I just, I, I, I don't want to sit here and, like, name every funny moment, because then I'd look like an idiot or something. But I think this one's a lot better than Guardians 1. Next up, we got Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm gonna give this A tier. I don't think it's S, I'm giving it A. Don't shit on me. Um, again... I don't think Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. I'm going to get shit on for saying that. My personal favorite, and this is going to get really shit on, because this is like everyone's like least favorite. I liked Andrew Garfield the best. I'm going to be honest. I thought he played a very good Spider-Man, and I thought he played a pretty good Peter. It's just a little bit more edgy because he drove, wrote a skateboard. Like, that's people's argument that he's edgy because he wrote a skateboard. I don't know. I, I think I think Andrew Garfield as Peter and, and, and er, as, as Spider-Man and Peter is my favorite. Not that I don't like Tom Holland, he's my second favorite, but like, I don't know. 
<sighs> yeah, so next up, we got our second S-tier movie, and that is Thor Ragnarok. If I'm going to sit here, if, if you told me I have to go pick a Marvel movie to watch right now, I'm probably picking... I'm picking one of these, one of the ones in S-tier. And, 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 you, and Thor Ragnarok is almost always in the top, in the last two, like, to pick from. <laughs> Excuse me. I thoroughly, thoroughly love this movie. I love Loki as a character. I love how they reinvented Thor. They made... Hulk pretty cool in this movie, <laughs> being a freaking gladiator. Obviously, you got the Valkyrie coming back in um, with Tessa Thompson. Um, so yeah, I, that's that's a personal favorite of mine. Next up, we got Black Panther. I'm also gonna give that an A tier. Um, I, I again, Chadwick Boseman, guy rest his soul, played that played that role so well. I I thoroughly thoroughly love it. Um, it's a really good movie. Michael B. Jordan played the villain very well. Um, I, I again, there's there's nothing bad you can say about this movie. It's just to me, it's an A tier movie and not an S tier movie. So now we got Avengers: Infinity War. My opinion, the best Avengers movie. So I'm gonna get it ahead of Age of Ultron. Again, this is probably the movie I pick. If you're telling me I have to go watch a Marvel movie right now, I'm probably picking Infinity War nine times out of ten. I think it's better than Endgame. I think it's way better than Endgame. Well, not way better. I think it's a lot better than Endgame. But Endgame's still a great movie. Anyways, first Iron Man. <sighs> I feel like it's going to be hard to, to to really, like, put a movie in one of these two tiers, to be honest with you. I'm going to give the first Iron Man a C tier. Maybe B... No, I'm going to go first Iron Man gets a C tier. Yeah, let's go B. All right, first Iron Man gets a, gets a B tier. I, I, again... I feel like I need to, like, put it in C, but, like, at the same time, I don't know. I think I know what I'm going to put in C and D tier, but it's only going to be like two or three movies in the bottom two categories. So for the most part, these are just going to be filled. It's the first MCU movie. It, 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 it kick-started the MCU. Robert Downey Jr. played it great. I forget what his name is, but the guy that plays Obadiah Stane. The one... Th Ter Ter is his name Terrence Howard? The guy that played Rhodey originally? Didn't like him as Rhodey. I definitely like um, Don Cheadle way better as Rhodey. I gotta say. You know what? <sighs> Do I like Iron Man 2 more than I like Iron Man 1? I'm going to put it... No, I, I I can't. I feel like that's just too disrespectful. I'm going to put it in B tier. Next up, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp. Again, <sighs> I think it's a little bit better than Ant-Man 1, but I still think it's a B tier movie. Again, I really like... I really like the duo of... of, of Ant well, I mean, that's the title of the movie, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I think... I, like, I'm trying to think of a way to describe it here. I think them as a duo works better than just Ant-Man by himself if that if, if that makes any sense <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna put that one in B tier next up we have Captain Marvel I'm gonna give it a C could because fuck her character Jesus Christ and, and, and it's, it's it's just she's overpowered and cocky for no goddamn reason it's just, and here we come here comes everybody you just don't like a, you just don't like a, a strong female character bitch please you got fucking Natasha you got fucking um, Gamora you got freaking uh, what's her name Valkyrie you got let's see who else here Shuri you got uh, Pepper Potts you got who else we got here well, I mean, there's there's more down here. We got oh, I already said Black Widow. You got freaking Wanda. You got let's look through out here some more. Jane, I mean, she was I, she wasn't even the hero, and I liked her better than Captain Marvel. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I I just don't like her. I don't like her character. So she's going. There. But it, it, I I would rather watch this movie than the two movies I'm putting in D tier. Endgame, S tier. It's it's probably like. If I'm going to watch one of these four movies, this is probably the order I'm going to watch them in. These two could be swapped back and forth. Like, Infinity War goes first, then I'm either watching Age of Ultron or Ragnarok, and then last is probably Endgame. It's probably my least favorite of the S-tier movies. That it's Not that it's a bad movie, because it's not by any stretch of the imagination. It's just, I like these ones more. So, now we got Spider-Man Far From Home. I like it better than the first Spider-Man, definitely. I'm going to put the first Spider-Man in B tier. I think that's a B tier movie. Spider-Man Far From Home is better. I think by a lot as well. Far From Home is an excellent movie. I love it. Um, I like Jake Gyllenhaal as, as Mysterio. I like the different suits uh, Peter gets in this one with the, the black and red one. You get the night monkey suit or whatever. Um, and I, I just I just like this movie a hell of a lot more than I like Homecoming. Um, next up, we got WandaVision. I'm going to put WandaVision A tier. 
I, I, I personally thoroughly have loved WandaVision, especially because, you know, freaking Elizabeth Olsen is just like my wife. So, yeah. Um, I really like the show. I really like how uh, I, I really liked Monica Rambeau's character. Absolutely loved her character. Um, obviously, Wanda, lover. <laughs> uh, uh, um, what's her name? Oh my God! As what, what's Ag uh, Agatha's uh, Agatha's actress's name? Oh my God! I'm drawing a blank. Catherine Hahn. Catherine Hahn played Agatha phenomenally. I thought she was really well. Obviously, we got the the, the weird teaser or like fake out of of a Ralph Boner, <laughs> uh, as we thought he was Quicksilver from the X Men movies. But again, I thoroughly love this this uh, this uh, show, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens in uh, Multiverse of Madness with Wanda being the main villain type thing. Um, next, we got Falcon and Winter Soldier. I mean. <sighs> It was okay. It, so far, it's the least favorite out of my out of the MCU shows that they've put out. It's probably my least favorite, to be honest. So I'm, I mean, again, I love absolutely love Sam as 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 uh, Captain America. I think he looks dope. The suit is dope. I, I think it, I think it makes sense to give it to him rather than Bucky because Bucky he's got too much red on his ledger, I guess you could say. Um, I, I I thoroughly love uh, Anthony Mackie as as. Um, as Captain America slash Falcon, Falcon America, whatever the hell you want to call him. Well, he's Captain America, but obviously was Falcon. Anyways, I just feel like this show was... Oh, it was... Pro I don't even... Not that it was slow. It was just... It, it wasn't as entertaining to me, and I didn't get as heavily involved, like anticipate... Like, I wasn't like losing my mind thinking about, holy crap, next week's episode is going to be insane, blah, blah, blah. It... <sighs> I was losing my mind watching this show, and so far I'm losing my mind watching Loki, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, I mean, I, the show's okay. I love Bucky and, and, and Sam's dynamic as like a duo. I love it. It's just, I think it's kind of, it's, it's, it's B. It's, it's not terrible, but it's not great. Next up, we got Black Widow. I'm giving it B tier. I would give it A if it didn't ruin the, all right, so for the next, un, until you see me, I'm going to say like a little 30 second skip ahead 30 seconds just because I'm going to talk about the movie a little bit here and if you haven't seen it yet you don't want to get spoiled for you whatever the only issue I have with the Black Widow movie is that they ruined the character of Taskmaster Taskmaster in the comics is a dope ass guy named Anthony Masters who has photographic memory or photographic reflexes whatever the hell it is and he can mimic every single move that he sees uh, other people do in this, it's some it's 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 Drakov's daughter, a character that nobody gives a shit about. When 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 Taskmaster took off the mask in the movie, every, I was just kind of like, who the fuck is this? Like, I I don't like like nobody cares about Drakov's daughter. They ruined the, they, they 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 took an amazing character from the comics and just kind of shit on it by making Drakov's daughter Taskmaster. That's my take on it. Other than that, I think the movie's phenomenal. I, I, I love it. I love the movie. Um, next up, we got the Loki show. The Loki show isn't even over yet. The Loki show isn't even over yet. I'm giving it S tier. This has been some of the best Marvel content I've ever watched in my entire life. I, I lose my mind watching an episode each week. Like, today's Tuesday. I'm staying... Oh, wait, shit. No, it's tomorrow night. Wait, no. I'm confused. Wait a minute. It's on Wednesday, so is it Tuesday at 3 a.m.? Shit, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know if it's tonight that I'm staying up, or I don't. I don't remember. Anyways, yeah, it's tonight that I'm staying up to watch it. Yeah, I think. Okay. Anyways, I, this has been some of the best Marvel content I've ever watched in my entire life. I've, like, I the, the the show isn't even over yet, and I love it more than any of this shit, especially this shit. Fuck that. I, I it's just great. I don't want to spoil anything. I mean, the show's not over yet. There's not much to spoil. But if you don't have Disney Plus and you haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet, I'm not going to talk too much about the plot itself. But it just makes you... Lo like, Loki is a lovable character as it is. And it makes you love him as a character even more. You got um, Owen Wilson playing Mo uh, Mobius. Great. Love it. Um, you got Sofia Martino playing Sylvie. That might have spoiled a little bit, but it is what it is. Um... I just think it's great. I love it. It's been one of my most favorite things from Marvel to watch in the, in the, in the past couple years. Now we get the Hulk movie. I'm going to give it C just because it's a forgotten about movie. People forget that it's like in the MCU and that like it's not even on Disney Plus, I don't think. It's just an okay movie. I think the, the like 
if it wasn't such a forgotten about movie that everybody like i could not tell you the last time i watched this movie i think i've watched this movie maybe three times in my entire life could not tell you the last time i watched it if it was like more known in the i don't know how to describe it it was more talked about more relevant i probably would have had it b i probably put it in b tier but it's just kind of it's 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 like on the outskirts like everybody forgets that it's a thing so i'm gonna put it there next up we got iron man 2 i'm gonna give iron man 2 we get introduced to natasha in this one you got the better um we have the better uh Rhodey and don Cheadle in this one i'm also gonna give it b tier i don't think it's better than a lot of these movies here uh so i mean i don't really know what else to say like it's a good movie it's nothing crazy Thor the Dark or Thor D tier. F God damn it! They they did the. I'm gonna put this one in D tier as well. These two movies blow. I will never ever ever. I've watched these movies maybe a total of four times a piece, and I will never ever ever, unless I'm binge watching all of the movies, go out of my way to watch all of them again or watch these movies again. They are goddamn atrocious. They suck. They're boring. They're terrible. I I did not enjoy them at all. I don't I don't like them. I, I just don't and it's crazy because you have the contrast of Thor Ragnarok being one of my most favorite movies and then you have these pieces of shit down here <laughs> but anyways let's move on what the hell was that I don't know if you guys heard that it was like a really loud truck horn outside <laughs> now let's move on to Captain America the first Avenger again B I don't think it's a crazy like interesting movie I think it's like it's whatever to me it's, it's just whatever again it's not a movie that i go out of my way to say "Ooh, i want to watch this over however many other movies in the mcu you know it's 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 just whatever next up we got the the first avengers because it's an avengers movie i feel like i have to put it a and it's the first again it's the first avengers movie it, it really set up everything else i'm gonna give it a tier i'm gonna give it a i i think i i think it's a better movie than a lot of these here <sighs> I don't know. I'm going to go A tier. First Avenger goes A tier. Now we got Iron Man 3. Uh, this is either B or A for me. This is probably my favorite of the Iron Man movies. Honestly, I probably watched this one the most. This is difficult. This is very difficult. I got I to gotta be honest. This is difficult. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go A, and I'm also going to go A with the Winter Soldier. So, this is, ba and the reason I have the Winter Soldier here is because I think this is such an underrated movie. I think you could definitely make the the the, the argument to put it in S. I personally think it's A. I don't watch this. I don't think, ooh, let me watch that movie over any of these, to be honest with you. So, I feel like that's kind of why I have to put it in A. Iron Man 3, again, my personal favorite. I love, like, having the f 75 Iron Man suits fighting all at once on the uh, on the shipping yard, I think it was, or something like that at the end of the movie. I think it's super dope. You see all the different type of suits that Tony created for different situations. I think it's just really cool. I think it's a really good movie. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be my tier list, guys. Um, so, I think this video I'm going to put out on Thursday... Um, again, I'm in this on Tuesday. The Loki finale hasn't even come out yet, and I already have it in S tier. But... Yeah, so this is going to be my video. Uh, or this is my tier list, I should say. If you guys uh, have any like different opinions or anything like that, down in the comments. Or if you guys have any different opinions, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think you would do differently here when it comes to these movies. Um, again, sorry if you got a little bit of a spoiler there for Black Widow. Um, I, I told you to skip ahead like 30, 40 seconds, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, again, so t this video will probably be going up on Thursday, and then either tomorrow or Saturday, I'll have a video up on my first playthrough of the new Zombies Met Mauer Der Toten. But um, yeah, so like I said, guys, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys are new, and you're looking forward to future content, where I think we're at about 125 subs right now, our goal is 150. But um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.